OK, so in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, inequalities using our perpendicular bisectors, OK, and shading the correct regions for those. So with this first one, uh, the modulus of z plus 2 is less than the modulus of z take away 5. So for this one, it's quite easy to find the perpendicular bisector. OK, so we've got uh, minus 2 on the real axis, so there's minus 2. And then we've got 5 on the real axis, so there's 5. So the midpoint between those two, minus 2 plus 5 gets you 3. Divide that by 2, so 3 halves. OK, so, <clears throat> um, so that will put us somewhere around there. And so it would be the vertical line going through those points. Now, because we've got less than, OK, a strict inequality like less than or greater than, we're going to use a dotted line. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, it's a solid line because we're including the points. So this will be a dotted line like so, OK? Now, what we're left with is to identify the correct region, OK? So which side should we be shading, OK? Now, um, if we reduce this, we put it into Cartesian form, OK? So z plus 2 modded, that's x plus iy plus 2. So x plus 2 plus iy modded, and we've got that less than x plus iy take away 5 modded, so x take away 5 plus iy modded, like that. Now, finding the lengths, we have the square root of the sum, and then we're going to square both sides. That's not going to change the inequality, OK? So we've got x plus 2 squared plus y squared is less than x take away 5 squared plus y squared. Now, the y squareds can cancel. Uh, I'll do that in a moment. So I'll expand them first. Like so. So x squareds can go, y squareds can go. Move all the x's onto the left-hand side. So we've got 14x, and 4 can go onto the right-hand side, so that gets us uh, uh, 25 take away 4, so 21. So divide both sides by 14, OK? 21 over 14 is the same as 3 halves. So we have x is less than 3 halves, which means we are looking at this side, and that's the side that should be shaded. Now, to ease this up, right, to avoid you having to do uh, a deal with that, you could say, well, because you've got this one is less than this one, you should be looking at the left-hand side, OK? And if it was the other way around, then we'd be on the right-hand side. So you can consider that. If you're a little bit unsure, OK, then go through the algebraic route. It's, once you've done this algebraic route a few times, it's really not labor intensive. OK, so let's look at this next one. And we will uh, we'll do the algebraic route as well. So number two. So real and imaginary. Uh, so we've got z plus i, so we're at minus i, uh, so minus 1 on the imaginary axis. And this one is at 7i, so 7 on the imaginary axis. OK. So 7 plus minus 1 is 6, divided by 2 is 3. So 3 is where we would be, and that would be a horizontal line. OK, and it's a dotted line, isn't it? OK, now, should we shade the top or the bottom? Let's figure that out. So we've got z plus i, so x plus i, y plus i. So x uh, plus i, lots of y plus 1, modded. And that's greater than uh, x plus i, y take away 7i, so x 
plus i y take away 7. So we're going to have x squared plus y plus 1 squared is greater than x squared plus y minus 7 squared. So we've got x squared plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 is greater than x squared plus y squared minus 14y plus 49. So the x squared and y squares can go. Move the 14y onto the left hand side so we get 16y. Subtract 1 from both sides we get 48. 48 divided by 16 is 3. So y must be greater than 3. And so it's the top. OK? So with this, you might be going, oh, I'm little, still a little bit unsure, OK, uh, with being able to spot it. Don't worry. Use the algebraic process, OK? I mean, by the time I get to number three and number four, I'd probably be using the algebraic process just in case anyway. So, right, so, uh, right, let's have a look at this one then. Real and imaginary. So we've got uh, minus one, one. Minus one, one. There. Okay. And here we've got uh, 1 minus 1. So 1 minus 1. OK. So this is clearly going to be y equals x, isn't it? OK. And it's a solid line this time because we've got less than or equal to. Now... Which region should we shade? OK, let's find that out. So, x plus i, y plus 1, take away i. So we're going to have uh, x plus 1 plus i, y minus 1, modded. And that's less than or equal to, rather. Uh, x plus i, y, take away 1 plus i. So x take away 1 plus i, y plus 1. So we have x plus 1 squared plus y minus 1 squared is less than or equal to x minus 1 squared plus y plus 1 squared. So x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 is less than or equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. So the x squared and y squareds can go. We've got 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1, so they can go. We've got uh, the 2x over here. So uh, let's subtract 2y from both sides. So minus 4y is now less than or equal to. Subtract 2x from both sides, so minus 4x. Divide both sides through uh, by minus 4, and that flips the direction of the inequality. So we get y is greater than or equal to x. OK? Now, if you're ever unsure about um, which region to consider, OK, then think of it this way. Uh, choose a point that's not on the line. So let's say we choose the point 1, 2. Right? If I choose the point 1, 2 and substitute it in, if it works in the inequality, then I know that's the region I want. So y is 2, x is 1. 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Yep, OK. So above the line is the region I want. OK, and so I've shaded the correct region. Right, let's have a look at this next one. So number four, real and imaginary. Right, we've got uh, three minus one. So three minus one, there. And we've got minus four, two. So minus four, two. 
Okay. So we would probably be interested in the midpoint. Uh, so minus 4, 2 and 3, minus 1. So minus 4, so midpoint. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 divided by 2, so minus a half. 2 take away 1 is 1 divided by 2 is a half. So minus 1 half, 1 half, so like here. It doesn't know, sorry. Minus 1 half, 1 half is here, rather. That looks better. Okay, so we know that it's gonna go, it's gonna go through those. Oh, sorry, it's gonna go through that point there. So minus a half, half. Can't get my words up. Right. Now, as for where it's crossing, it's gonna look something like this, isn't it? And it's a solid line. Okay. So let's work that out. Um, so I'm going to go through this way. <clears throat> so we've got uh, the modulus of x take away 3 plus i y plus 1 uh, is greater than or equal to x plus 4 plus i y minus 2 modded. So x take away 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is greater than or equal to x plus 4 squared plus y minus 2 squared. So x squared take away 6x plus 9 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1 is less is greater than or equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. I've done too many examples. I'm saying the wrong things. Um, too many videos at once. Plus y squared minus 4y plus 4. Okay, so my x squareds and y squareds can go. Uh, let's get the, two, the y's onto the left hand side. So we've got the 4y, so we've got 6y is greater than or equal to. Um, so we've got 8x already there, plus 6x, so 14x. We've got 16 and 4, so 20. 19, 10, so plus 10. Divide through by the 6 then, so y is greater than or equal to 14 over 6, so uh, 7 over 3x, uh, plus 10 over 6, which is 5 thirds. So that point's 5 thirds, and that point's your midpoint minus a half. Half. Okay. So let's just choose a point to see uh, which region we should select. So let's select 0, 0. That's not on the line. So 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 5 thirds. So is 0 greater than or equal to 5 thirds? No. So it's the top region that I'm interested in. OK. So that is how we can... Uh, shade regions and use inequalities with these perpendicular bisectors.